Hey, this is Electric Zero. Um, today I'm going to bring you a tutorial about a really cool program that I've been using um, for a while now, um, and it's been really useful and really helpful, and I bet it will be helpful for you guys who use iTunes a lot. Um, this program is called Skiron, as you can see, I got their uh, download page up, but you can get this at, at eventosoftproducts.com, um, or sorry, .net. Uh, here's their link. Just take a look at that really fast. Um, Alright, there it is. Anyway, let's zoom back out. And uh, now let's take a look at our actual program here. Uh, let me go into iTunes here. Just kind of unnecessary. Uh, but anyway, so um, here we are. At a, we have iTunes and Skiron. This is the little box right here is uh, Skiron. Um, now this program is really great. I've loved it um, ever since I, I downloaded it um, for iTunes. Um, but basically I'm going to go through some of the basic functions and uh, cool little th uh, things it does. So um, let's start um, by showing you um, its basic purpose. Um, its basic purpose is to download album artwork that you do not have for specific songs that you have on your iTunes library. Um, and also it is to download lyrics uh, for all the songs that you have in your iTunes library. Um, as you can see we have a lyrics button and a play pause button and uh, here we have an album artwork viewer uh, in the window here. Um, so that's the basic purpose. Uh, now let's go through some of the basic functions. Um, as I just showed you, you can play pause, show lyrics. Also, you have controls, other controls besides play pause. Uh, next song, previous song, you know, previous song, next song. Actually, um, then you can rate your song without having to go into iTunes. Uh, one star, two stars, all the way up to five stars, as usual. And also, you have the option to hide store arrows. Uh, for those of you who don't know what store arrows, arrows are, we zoom in here. These little things right here, those are store arrows, these two things. Um, basically what they do is they're basically links to the iTunes store um, to get more songs from an artist, a genre, an album, you know, whatever is uh, provided, what other, you know, info is provided from the song that's currently playing or that is selected. Um, now if we go into here on here, um, so those are sort of some of the basic functions. Um, now what it can do, uh, let's, uh, let me show you what it can do, uh, hands-on here. So let's just, uh, start playing a song here. Oop, whoa. Damn. Uh, anyway, so, uh, we can see, uh, instantly as the song is playing, uh, Skiron will show the album artwork for that song. It'll also show, um, we have, uh, the lyrics here. If we just click lyrics... We'll open a little lyrics window. Also, um, some other functions I forgot to go over. We can copy the lyrics uh, in edit, and we can copy the lyrics and paste them into an email, you know, wherever you want to paste them, wherever that would come in handy. Um, what else? Um, also, while the song is playing, we can see the album artwork in the dock, just in case Skiron is, you know, not uh, in front of us at the moment. We can still see the song that's or at least the album that's playing. Um, what else? Um, okay, so that's basically the basic functions and purpose of Skiron. Now let's go a little further into the functions here uh, and little things it does. Uh, if we go into System Preferences, you can see a pane here called Growl. Now, Growl is a uh, notification system. It's a program that you can download that allows you to show notifications for specific programs that use Growl. Um, in this case, if we go into applications here, we can see all the applications that I have that use Growl, including Skype, Skiron, of course, Growl Tunes, Growl Menu, uh, Doc Spaces, and AppFresh, which are all applications you can download and I'm going to do tutorials on soon, um, but not right now, um, but I will get to them. Um, so we have uh, Growl. Now, uh, just to show you what Growl does, um, uh, basically we can see the song is playing here. 
Um, now, uh, by the way, one thing I'd like to go over is uh, one bad part about Growl is uh, if you pause a song, it will not show the artwork anymore or the lyrics. So the song has to be playing um, to get that to work, as you can see. Um, another thing that uh, I'd like to go over before we go on. Actually, um, I'll keep going. Uh, but anyway, so let's uh, just skip to the end of the song. And we can see we oops, let me fly. We end up at the next song. Now, uh, let me just grab this notification here. This notification here, if you look up, uh, we can see is a growl notification. And it just was uh, sent out by Skiron uh, to show some info here. Um, now, before it goes away, um, let's take a look at it. Um, so here we can see the song title, the title of the song that's playing. Uh, we can see the album artwork for it in a little uh, thumbnail. We can see the album. We can see the artist, and we can also see the time duration for the entire song. Basically, how long the song is. In this case, it's two minutes forty-five seconds. Uh, now this is really a really great function if you you're a DJ or you know doing something on your computer. And while it's playing, um, you know, you're doing all this other stuff, and you can't don't know what song is playing, well, um, you can either look in your dock, uh, or when it starts to play, uh, it'll show give you a little notification about what song is playing. Uh, and some other info, as I sh just showed you. So that's Giron, basic functions, basic stuff. Um, also, I just want to show you some of the preferences here, go through that really fast. Um, launch Skiron when I, iTunes is launched, uh, and quit Skiron when I, uh, iTunes terminates. These are features that allow you to open and close iTunes, uh, Skiron, uh, so it doesn't take up more room in your RAM, you know, make your computer slow while iTunes is not running, and also makes it easier, uh, to launch Skiron when iTunes is launched, so you don't have to go in through your computer, find Skiron, and open it with iTunes. So it'll do that automatically. Also, uh, we have a send anonymous report. This is if uh, Skiron quits accidentally, you know, it force quits itself, or you force quit it. Uh, it'll send an anonymous report that you don't really know about, but it will send it anyway. Uh, you can also take that off if you want, if you don't want it to send it. Um, but that's just in case it crashes. Now, this is because Skiron crashes a lot, or at least it has in previous versions, so they've added this anonymous anonymous report to be sent um, to their company not just to Apple so that's really great um, next we have fetch lyrics of course as I said uh, by the way also fetch artworks um, Skiron will fetch art lyrics and artworks for your songs um, and these options allow you to uh, allow Skiron to not or do do that uh, allows it allows you to choose whether it should or shouldn't do that um, also, um, application window always on top. Now, as you can see here, if I back out uh, of Zoom, uh, we can see if I move around, Skiron still stays with me wherever I go on my computer. Um, now, this feature is really great, but sometimes it can can, uh, can get a little annoying. So I can turn off this app, uh, this check mark, so that it's not always on top and it's not always with me. Now, in this case, if sorry, uh, if um, I do set this option, Skiron will come up as a separate window in Expose and Spaces. So I'm going to turn that back on, actually, because I love that feature, I have to say. Because, you know, wherever I am on my computer, I can go find Skiron, play, pause, skip, go back in a song. Oh, actually, I wanted to pause that. Sadly, I did not do that. Anyway, so that's Skiron. Once again, to get it, go to Inventsoft Products, uh, their website. I'll put it in the description for you guys to check it out. They also have some other apps that you should take a look at, um, but I'm not going to go over those right now. So uh, this has been the tutorial for Skiron. By the way, the spelling for that is S-K-E-I-R-O-N. It's very weird. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right. I think I am. I'm not sure. So. Um, Anyway, that's pretty much it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I got tons of tutorials, really cool apps that you should definitely check out. Um, 
Also, if you have any other questions about any other parts of Mac OS X, uh, I have tons of knowledge on the OS and a lot of the programs that run on it. So please, if you have any questions, ask me. I know my stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys later in my next tutorial. Bye.